Uscreen versus WordPress. We're gonna be looking at key features, the pricing, and which one I would choose. First of all, what is Uscreen? Uscreen is a platform where you can have an all-in-one membership for creators. And not just for creators, if you're an educator, if you're a YouTuber, whatever kind of community you have, you can create your membership site on Uscreen. What is WordPress? WordPress is a open source software where you can create blogs, websites, memberships, video on demand sites, and the list goes on and on. Let's take a look at some of the key features of both. With Uscreen, you have a suite of different things that you can be doing, a suite of products or tools that you can be using with Uscreen. We're just gonna go through just a few things. Number one, you can have a video CMS, you can create a community, you can have live streaming, you ha can have your own mobile and TV app, video monetization, and the list goes on and on. In fact, one of the best features I would say with Uscreen would be not just all of these other things, but also the marketing toolkit that it allows you to have so you can easily be able to onboard potential members and be able to maximize uh, really your profit and your business that you're trying to create. Now, if we're looking at WordPress, it's open source. So there's tons of things people can add on and the community is vast. In fact, approximately all the websites on the internet, about 60 to 70%, give or take, are WordPress sites. But because it's open source, there are a lot of variants or a lot of different plugins that you can use. And so some people find it hard to use. So when I talk about WordPress, I'm going to be talking about something specifically called Elementor, which is a um, really a way to use WordPress, but you can create stunning websites and all those things uh, using Elementor. Using plugins or using different themes and things like Elementor, these aren't free though. And we'll kind of get into the whole pricing thing in a little bit. But you can create tons of different kinds of websites that you want with WordPress. You can create, uh, you, know, you know, streaming platforms, limited streaming platforms with it. Uh, you can create marketplaces and the list goes on and on. Now, if we look at pricing for a moment, let's deep dive and take a look at what you can be expecting with pricing. For Uscreen, there are two different pricing. You can do annual or monthly. Uh, let's focus on annual. For annual, you're going to be looking at $79 or $159 for the most popular uh, pl uh, the most popular plans, right? The bla basic plan is $79 per month plus 99 cents per subscriber and growth is 159 and you're going to get a price break. 80, it's only going to be 85 cents per subscriber as you grow. Now there's a third option, which is Uscreen Plus, but if you're interested in that, I would recommend you booking a call and it's really for businesses or brands that have already been established and they're looking to scale and have a very specific um, needs, that's where Uscreen Plus comes in. But let's just take a look at the basic. Again, it starts at $79 per month. It includes 50 hours of video storage, one admin user, uh, one one-on-one -on -one onboarding sessions, and then you can customize your website and be able to build out your brand. In fact, we have a whole breakdown of what you can do with Uscreen. There's gonna be a link down below. If you wanna see step-by-step -step us actually making a membership site with Uscreen and the different features, uh, there's gonna be a link down below so you can actually see that for yourself. Now, for the growth plan, it's $159, 85 cents plus 85 cents per subscriber. What's the difference? What are we looking at? Well, you're going to have more video storage. You're going to be now going up to 150 hours of storage. You're going to be able to have three admins, three one-on-one -on -one onboarding sessions, and you're going to also have chat and email support if you have questions. And you can then also have the community feature, e-commerce integration, Zapier and webhooks. And that really has to do with like automation. If you're going to be having a lot of different automated things or different systems you want to have it connected to that's what you have you can have third-party integrations affiliate integrations and then free migration so if you're on another platform and you want to migrate you're feeling frustrated or overwhelmed and you don't want to do this manually 
Uscreen provides that if you go on the growth plan. Now, to get started with Uscreen for free, you can actually start with a free trial. And this is good, especially if you are trying this out and you want to see if this is a good fit for you. You can be looking at uh, starting a free trial. What I'd also mention too is if we're looking at pricing, this really depends on making this work for your type of community or the type of business you're trying to run. Because if you're paying for basic, but it's 99 cents per subscriber, you have to think about how much are you going to charge per month? If you're going to be do, doing a membership or like a Patreon style, what are you going, how much are you charging and how much are those tiers? That allows you to make sure that you're, uh, you're getting compensated the right way for your community based on what you're charging and all of those things. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of community are you creating? What are you doing with your business? Are you a creator? Are you an uh, educator or entertainer and you're looking to create a membership platform or have something for your own community? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's take a look at WordPress. Now WordPress, because it's open source, it's going to be free. Yeah. Free for free, free, free for free. You're going to be able to have this for free, but you're still going to have to pay for a domain and register it. So if you're going to be using GoDaddy, if you're on Google Cloud Platform, you're still going to need to host it, right? You're still going to need to buy the domain name, do all those things. So that's going to be the cost of being able to have WordPress. So even though the software is free, you still got to host and do those things. You have to pay it either monthly or yearly, whatever your plan is and whatever platform you choose. But then if you really want to use WordPress, and I'm just using Elementor as an example, there are tons of builders. And yeah, there are some basic builders with WordPress, but for the most part, what makes WordPress so unique is by having so many different plugins and having different themes that really focus on what you're trying to build. So whatever type of theme or builder you're going to use, you're going to incur a, a charge for that. That's going to cost you a certain amount of money. So for example, if I'm looking at uh, Elementor, let's take a look. They have WordPress hosting. So that's going to uh, be a charge. So if we look at it, it's going to be one, one website. It's going to be uh, $10, $9.99 per month for a one website, or you're going to have a business website. It's going to be $20 a month. That's with Elementor hosting. So you're getting the managed WordPress hosting, Elementor, Pro Builder theme, and then premium support. So that's how much it's going to be per uh, month. Or you're just going to get a page builder, and that's going to depend on what you're trying to do. Uh, you can go with a one website. It's $59 a, a year. I would probably go with the expert plan, which is uh, $200 a year, or you have the agency, which is up to a thousand websites. Again, this is made for agencies, ones that are building a business and doing all those things. That's going to be $400 a year. So again, there's still going to be a wide amount of how much you're going to pay based on what you're trying to do. If you're wanting Elementor to host it and then you're getting charged for the builder or just having the builder. Personally, I don't um, like to complicate my life and I've, I've used Go GoDaddy and tons of others. I just have Elementor host it when I'm doing building different sites as well. So that's going to be closer to probably $20 a month, right? Um, so that's just something to consider. Now, we, we're talking about key features again. Depending on what kind of plugin or builder you're going to choose, that's when it's going to be a different price every single time. Uh, we were looking at Uscreen as a platform where you can have an all-in-one membership site. So you're going to have people be able to log in and do all of these things. Well, WordPress out the box won't allow you to have those things set up. You can buy a plugin or a theme that is made for memberships, but you're not going to be able to just uh, purchase this at, a, at you know $20 a month and have everything set up like Uscreen. So it really depends on how much work and effort you want to do uh, to make it work for yourself and then be able to scale from there. If you're wondering about different themes or something like that you could be doing with WordPress, 
and maybe Elementor isn't the, the thing for you, you're going to have to do some more research and, and see what a good theme would be. For example, uh, we have something called um, Ele Envato Elements, where you can actually look for different themes or different ones where you would have, um, could have online memberships and go through this. But remember, the caveat is you can have a theme just like, let me put in membership right here, right? So we have WordPress membership. We have tons of different WordPress memberships, different pricing, uh, different things like that. And if you're subscribed to Envato Elements, it, some are included. But remember, if you're using WordPress, you then have to load it into the WordPress website. You're going to have to know something about WordPress to be able to do this. And that's more time and energy to get yourself up and running versus something like Uscreen. It's all in one. It's basically it's ready out of the box. So that's something to consider in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're proficient in. Have you tried WordPress before? Is it confusing to you? Do you love WordPress and you want to use that for a membership site? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now that we've reviewed the key features of the different platforms, the pricing, now let's take a look at which one I would choose. And the winner is, it depends. <laughs> no, no, seriously. If you're looking at Uscreen or something like Elementor or WordPress, it really depends on what you're trying to do, you, your expertise, time and energy, and all these other factors. If you're a one-person creative team, you are a creator, you're a YouTuber, you're already building your business and you're focused on video creation and you just don't have time to learn WordPress or don't want to hire developers for WordPress, well, Uscreen might be a good option for you because it's everything out of the box, already ready. It already has all the marketing toolkit right there for you to be able to scale your business. And because it's locked in prices, you can then figure out what you need to do to be profitable to scale versus if you do something like WordPress, yes, you can be doing a lot of different things and you can add on and add plugins, add themes and all those things. You things like Elementor, but you, it still takes time with a learning curve. You're still going to have to learn how to build a website, build these different things. And just because you know how to use WordPress, when it comes to memberships, you're still going to have to do integrations with either Stripe or PayPal to take payments you're going to have to figure out uh, different ways to streamline that effect as when they become members on your website when you're using WordPress. And that's going to take time and energy. Depends on what you would like. Now, you can do other things perhaps that Uscreen can't do and vice versa. You're going to have to write down and figure out what are those key features that you're looking for that are good for you and not just for yourself, but Think about what your audience is looking for. What's a good experience for your audience to really scale and make a membership for yourself? And again, WordPress can do a lot of other things. So when you're comparing this, you've got to decide what your goals are, what your audience wants, and then go from there. And if you like these kind of things and you're thinking about creating your own side hustle, make sure you like and subscribe. We do this every single week.